I'm all about working smarter and not harder, and that's why I use Elementor to build all of my websites. Not only is it a super easy but powerful page builder, but they have a lot of time-saving features built in, like their global settings. With Elementor global settings, you can easily set your branding colors and fonts and then apply them to any element on your website which is great because consistency is super important for user experience and all the fonts and colors on your website should match so your users don't get confused. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set your global fonts and colors and how to apply them to the elements on your website. Let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and log into your website and since you clicked this video, I'm gonna assume that you already have Elementor installed on your website, so I'm not gonna go into all that. We'll just jump right in by hovering over your website name on the top left and then clicking the visit site link. Then hover over edit with Elementor and click site settings. Click the three lines in the top left and then click site settings. Next click global colors. So the global colors are broken into system colors and custom colors. The system colors are usually colors that your theme uses, but depending on what theme you have, it could add its own custom colors also. The main thing you need to know here are these are the base colors set for your website. You can adjust these colors and change them, but note if they're on the website anywhere already set as that color, it will change on the website also, as you can see right here, when I change that color, how it affects this button that is set to be saved color seven. This is super useful if you do happen to change your branding colors, because then you can just change it in one place instead of finding every element on your website and then changing it. You can also add new custom colors by clicking the add color button and then choosing a color right here. You can also adjust the transparency and you can change the name of the color so it's easy to keep track of what's what. When you're done here, click update and then click the back arrow so we can go ahead and click the global fonts link. Now this works exactly the same way that the colors do. If you change one of these system fonts, it's going to change on the site wherever that font is set. And you would do that by clicking the pencil icon. You can also add new custom fonts by clicking the add style button and you can name it just like you name the colors and then you can edit it to make it whatever you want. We're just going to put something random here so I can show you later when we change it. And then you can also put a fallback font family here. This isn't really as important as it used to be, but this is basically just saying if none of these fonts are available, use a random system sans serif font. So when you're done here, also click update and then click the X to close out of the site settings. And now that we're at the regular page editor, I can show you how to apply those new fonts and colors to different parts of your website. So for example, if we select this button here and we go to style and then we have the background color right here and you can see here that it's already set at the global saved color number seven. But if we click that icon, we can switch it to the new random test color we made and then it gets updated to that color. So you can see this is super useful that you don't have to, you know, keep copying and pasting the color code everywhere on the site. You can just very, very easily choose it right from there without having to remember anything. And of course, same way with the fonts, we're going to select this paragraph text right here, go to style. Click that icon next to typography that looks kind of like a globe. And then you can pick one of your global fonts. We could switch it to the test, which definitely looks super weird there. We don't want that. Just so you know, if you want to go back to default, you can click the pencil icon and then click this refresh to go back to default. But that'll also help you keep your font styles consistent throughout the website. And in such an easy way too, because you don't have to remember, oh, my line height is 1.2 or my font size is 16. It just automatically does it and everything can be changed from the same place also. So it'll be very helpful. It's going to make your workflow way easier. And as always, when you're done, don't forget to click the update button. And that's it. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get your free download of the nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll guide you with everything you need to do to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.